a couple of trials that had been done, the finger trial out in Europe and the pointer trial, which is emerging, that showed aggressive lifestyle intervention, diet, exercise, managing stress, sleep, optimizing all your risk factors, was able to not just slow the progression of Alzheimer's and dementia, but to reverse it. This is published data. This is not my opinion. Richard Isaacson also has published this data and, and, and so by and now um, using biomarkers, and we can actually test with function, soon we'll be adding biomarkers for Alzheimer's. So now there's blood tests for, bio, for, for Alzheimer's. So you don't have to wait until you forget your keys. And also for cancer, you're asking about cancer, we do a multi-cancer. Wait, at what age is Alzheimer's detectable in a blood test? That's a great question. So on imaging, which is very expensive and difficult and not- Brain something. imaging. Yeah, brain imaging. You can see the changes up to 30 years before you get Alzheimer's as a symptom. With blood tests, it's it's not as as far as that. We're still figuring out you know what, what those times are, but you can see start these proteins start to develop in the blood that, that indicate there's something happening and you can then intervene early. And the thing about Alzheimer's is, is that it's, if you intervene early, you can have an incredible benefit to help slow the progression and, and delay it and actually reverse it. 